Okay, so today we're gonna to be doing some ECG prep. Uh, so first of all, we'll just go over some supplies that we need. So we have our ECG electrodes right here. Um, you're gonna need 10 of these for a 12 lead ECG. So we also have our sandpaper tape here. Um, this is just a bit of an abrasive surface to sort of scratch up the skin a little, get any dead skin off and stuff like that. Um, so we will be using that. We also have our alcohol prep pads. Again, this is also to get off any lotions, things like that. All of this is just to make sure that the electrode has a really good surface to read on. And lastly, we have our electrode gel, which we'll be using on the electrodes prior to placing them on the skin. So those are all the supplies that we need. Um, so we'll start off by just placing the limb leads. So we're gonna have four limb leads and then six um, other electrodes that go around um, the chest. And I'll kind of talk through those in a little bit. But to start off with the limb leads, um, we're going to place, uh, we have two on the arms and then two on the legs. And so the two limb leads at the top, uh, we'll have a right and a left arm. So basically these just go in the deltoid fossa. Um, and so this is going to be in the space between the clavicle and the deltoid and the pec muscle. Um, so you'll feel a nice little squishy space right there. And that's exactly where you wanna place the electrode. Okay, so um, we took a quick little break. You got really, it's really important to remove any chest hair that's in the way. Again, just to allow those electrodes to have a really good placement and so that they read really well. So we'll go back to those limb leads. Again, I said we're going to place um, the right and the left arm in the deltoid fossa. Um, and it's really important that you're placing the um, actual reading part of the electrode exactly where you have palpated and where you want to place the electrode and not any part of the sticker because this metal part is what's actually doing the reading. Um, so prior to actually placing the electrode, like I said, we have all of our other supplies so we're gonna start by taking our abrasive sur surface here and you just need a little bit and you're just going to um, lightly scratch the area where you want to place the electrode. Um, nothing too crazy, but just scratch that. And then we're gonna use our alcohol prep pad. So I always say scratch and then sting So again, we're just cleaning off the area. Okay, and then you're ready to peel off your electrode. And the last step is to apply some electrode gel onto the electrode prior to placing it. So we scratched, sting, now we're gonna squirt some electrode gel. And you just need a very tiny bit, nothing um, too crazy or too much. And then we will stick it right on. It's really important that when you're placing the electrode on, you don't push down right on the metal part because that will kind of spread out the electrode gel. So just kind of press around it and make sure it is nice and stuck on. So that is our first limb lead. So we'll just repeat the process on the other side. All right, so moving on to the leg limb leads. So these will be down and you want to put the leg limb leads halfway in between the iliac crest and the bottom of the ribs. And um, so you'll kind of feel, and you want it on that anterior axillary line. So that is going to be, you kind of palpate down here for the top of his iliac crest, and then also for the bottom of the ribs and then anterior axillary line, we're gonna place it right there in between those two spots. Uh, but again, we always start with our prep. Okay, so now we're going to, uh, we finished the limb leads, we're gonna go in with the uh, precordial electrodes and leads. And so we have six electrodes left to place. Um, so we're gonna start with uh, V1 and V2. So I always go 
B1, B2, and then I go B4, B6, and then I place B3 and B5, and you'll see why in just a second. Okay, so we're gonna start by palpating for B1. So I always st start at the top of the sternum um, and then kind of work my way down. And your goal is to find where there's a bit of a, there's a bit of an indent, sort of a bump. You'll feel it on the person. I sort of like to run my finger up and down um, and this is called the sternal angle. It's where the head of the sternum and the body of the sternum meets up. Um, and so right here is where the second rib attaches. So if you go directly over from that, you should feel the second rib. So then when you find that, you'll sort of just walk your fingers down. You never just wanna pick your fingers up and move them. You'll totally lose your spot and have to start over again. So I always kind of just walk my fingers down and I feel, okay, there's the second intercostal space, third rib, third intercostal space, fourth rib, and fourth intercostal space. So that's where we wanna place V1. We wanna place it on the uh, subject's right side of their body um, to the right side of the sternum in the, in the fourth intercostal space, okay? So we have found our spot. Um, and if you want to, you can totally just mark this spot so you don't lose it, which actually I'm gonna do really quick here and just mark it a bit so that I know where to come back. And again, we will just go in and scratch. Okay, and then V2 should be a um, mirror image on the left side of the sternum, but again, make sure you're in um, an intercostal space prior to placing this electrode. Okay, so now that we have V1 and V2, we're going to move on to V4. So this is going to be um, in the mid clavicular line. So you're gonna take the person's clavicle, split it in half and kind of draw a line straight down. That is the mid clavicular line. And you'll want this to be in the fifth intercostal space. Um, so we know we were in the fourth intercostal space here. So again, just kind of walk your fingers down. I feel the fifth rib and I feel the fifth intercostal space. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, So now that we have placed B1, B2, and B4, we're going to move on to B6. So this will be um, the horizontal line, and this will be mid-axillary line. So we're lots of lines here. Um, and so, so we have mid-axillary um, line right down here. And again, you want to go horizontal from B4 out to the mid axillary line. Again, making sure that you're not right on a rib or else it's gonna have a harder time reading. Okay, so the remaining electrodes we have are V3 and V5. So V3 will go halfway in between V2 and V4. So as you can see, there's a small amount of space here. Um, so just do the best you can to place the electrode on the skin. Obviously, you don't want it on any of the sticky parts or else it's not going to be reading correctly. And making sure that the metal bit is right on his skin. Perfect. And last but not least, V5 will again be horizontal line about halfway in between. So we're gonna go right about there. Okay. So now we have all our electrodes placed. We're going to start hooking up the wires. And so these are super nice. They're all labeled. They say exactly on them what they should be, right leg, left leg, et cetera, as well as V1 through V6. So we're just gonna go ahead and place these. 
and make sure they're nice and tight on there. You don't want them falling off or loose at all or else again, you're gonna get not the greatest reading. Okay, so now we are all connected. We're going to actually walk over to the computer and run a little check to make sure that all our electrodes are in the right place and are reading properly. So let's head over there. All right, so when we come over here, we're going to click on this little blue guy, which is called the impedance check. Again, this is just checking um, the reading that the computer is getting from the electrodes. And we will hit start. And so if it's reading good, it will give us a nice green dot on all the placements, um, or it will give us yellow for fair or red for poor. You definitely don't want any pores for sure. Um, and so we got all greens, which is great. So we go ahead and stop it. And then exit, and we are good. All of our electrodes are in the right place, so that's a good thing. Um, if they aren't in the right place, you would wanna come back over here and it will tell you which electrode to check. And so maybe it said V4 isn't reading too good. Just go ahead and check V4, make sure the connection is good. Um, make sure it's on the skin, the skin is prepped properly, and it's not right over a rib. Those are all things you can check for and redo possibly if you're missing one of those steps.